During the age of the dinosaurs, spectacular species like this Pachycephalosaur attract the most attention. But the prehistoric world was also home to a wide variety of other quite different species. So what were some of the animals living alongside the dinosaurs? One of the most surprising was this. The biggest frog to have ever lived. Beelzebufo was an especially large, wide-bodied frog with a proportionally large head. It was the size of a small dog. The fearsome hunter with an appearance to match. It had armoured skull bones and armoured backbone, heavily reinforced, and big, strong jaws. Beelzebufo had an especially powerful bite. It would have been able to grab and subdue and kill even relatively large prey, up to the size of baby dinosaurs. Oceans were dominated not by dinosaurs, but by marine reptiles. The largest were mosasaurs. These giant marine lizards could reach 50 feet in length and weigh 15 tons. They had massively elongate, powerful jaws, huge jaw muscles, and enormous conical teeth. They were the greatest marine predators of all time. But while giant lizards like this mosasaur ruled the ocean, a very different group of reptiles filled the skies. In the air, we've got this fantastic diversity of flying reptiles that we call pterosaurs. These things are often referred to as flying dinosaurs, but they're not. These were the very first animals with backbones to fly. Their wingspan ranged from 10 inches to an enormous 33 feet. The largest posed a deadly threat for even the most fearsome of dinosaurs. They were not just very big, they also had a skull that was about three meters long and ended in giant stabby jaws. If you were Tyrannosaurus, you would probably think twice about approaching an animal that dangerous. Many of the impressive creatures on the prehistoric planet looked completely different from anything alive today. But there were also some animals that might seem a little more familiar. Mammals. Despite people thinking that the Cretaceous was all about dinosaurs, there were tons of mammals. We find things that lived in the water, like beavers today. We see things that were running around in the trees and even gliding, and things that were living under the ground and digging into the soil. And you see mammals evolved a lot of characteristics related to being able to move around at night. These lifestyles may have been important in helping mammals avoid the dinosaurs living alongside them. They evolved a lot of different tools to help them survive during that period. 
fur. Being warm-blooded. Even evolving big brains and sensory structures that allow them to see at nighttime. In fact, we may have dinosaurs to thank for the way mammals look today. After 150 million years, the dinosaurs were wiped out by a massive meteor strike. In their place, mammals became the dominant life on planet Earth, as they still are today.